These are two different kind of motors. This is a DC motor which has the output directly attached to the rotor of the motor. In this case you have a gear train that slows down the speed of the motor and increases the torque. Well this is good for driving vehicles. I'm interested in this one because I can attach a fan here and I hope it spins so fast that it actually can lift everything up. Now let's see how much can it lift. Now it's uh, reset to zero. Now I close the circuit and let's see. It's minus... Well, so the, the, the total thrust is less than one gram. So it's it's not much, but let's see what I can do with this. I designed a custom controller just for the purpose of testing this thing. The idea is having the battery to be a counterweight for the whole helicopter. Nope. No, there's too much friction here. It won't lift, but it's moving. Woo! It works! It works! Half a gram is enough. Oh yeah. But now it doesn't move anymore. To make it move I have to make it tilt forward. So I might have to add these bricks to move the center of mass of the helicopter a little forward. Let's just try now. So now we can try to make a, a little game. So now the game is make it land as it should. You go. <sighs> nice. Go! And stop. No. It's not easy as it seems. Not easy at all. Here we go. Circuit Cubes gives you a lot of possibilities. You can build very tiny models with remote control capabilities. As always, stay young, keep playing well. Ciao!